Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. Let's talk about self-care. Now for me, self-care is looking after my physical and my mental health. And why is that so important? Well, if I don't look after myself, I can't care for anyone else. It might sound cliched, but it's true. We can't give when our vessel is empty. It's really important to put our own needs first, otherwise we can burn out and become ill. Now this isn't always easy. It can seem selfish. But there is nothing more selfless than taking responsibility for oneself. We can actually give more to those around us when we do. When we focus on our needs, we help others around us to do the same. It's a win-win for all. Instead of telling people what they need, we focus on our needs. In choice theory, it's called modeling the model. You help others by being the example. We've all heard that you have to put your own oxygen mask on first. One of the big benefits of self-care I found is it can improve relationships. We stop trying to get others to meet our needs. And this can create healthy boundaries because we know what we need for ourselves. In a world where we feel the need to say yes, we can learn to say no without justifying or explaining. When you do this, you actually have more time to give to others. Self-care can actually improve our physical health. We want to nourish our body with quality nutrition. And we also give ourselves time to be active and exercise. We know that nourishing foods and exercise can give us the health and well-being that we need to live fully in this world. It doesn't mean that we deny ourselves treats. It's just that the balance is there. Self-care can also improve our mental health. There's always talk about being compassionate to others, and yet we can be so critical of ourselves. This is where I do my best to remember Dr. Glasser's caring habits, which we've talked about here before. Instead of creating a prison in my mind, I practice being compassionate to myself. And this has made me far more compassionate to those around me. It has to start with ourselves. It's like being our best friend. Another benefit I found of self-care is that it can help us find balance in our lives. We stop and realize what's important to us and what we need to let go of in our life. Instead of frantically running around, we learn to slow down and prioritize what's important to us. The next benefit of self-care is that you don't get entangled in other people's lives. You mind your own business, so to speak. You stop trying to control those around you. You are there, always if anyone needs help. But you don't forget to look after yourself first. You remind yourself that people can ultimately only help themselves. And by looking after ourselves, we encourage others to do the same. You know the saying that children 
do what they see, not what they hear. And I find it's the same for us. Actions speak louder than words. When we put ourselves first, it's a win-win for all. So I'd love to hear your perspective on this topic and whether you find it easy to look after yourself. It's all a journey and as each day goes on I'm taking more responsibility for my own needs and with that I'm able to care for the world much better than I was before. So let's chat down below or over on Instagram and thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and be kind to yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.